Built in 1953, 1966, 1967, and 1969 by the Rotary Club, the antler arches framing the town square are synonymous with Jackson Hole. In the early 1950s, there was little need for the antlers male elk shed every winter. Prices per pound hung around 50 cents, and despite giving away antlers to visitors, the elk refuge still needed help ridding themselves of thousands of antlers. Hidden by the tall summer grasses, errant antlers posed a serious safety risk to refuge personnel and apparatus. The arch idea was simply a place to put the unwanted antlers. In 1957, the National Elk Refuge and the Jackson Boy Scouts struck a deal. The Boy Scouts were given a special use permit to collect the antlers, which were then purchased by the Rotary Club for additional arches. By the end of the 1960s, each corner of the town square had an arch. For the first time, the Tetons were rivaled as the preferred backdrop for tourist photos. As the value of antlers grew for their use in art, furniture making, jewelry, and medicine, the arches suffered a brief rash of vandalism in the 1970s. In 1968, the first annual Boy Scout antler auction took place. The event would grow to become an annual tradition and week-long event called Elk Fest. The proceeds of the auction are divided between the Elk Refuge and Boy Scouts. The antler arches you see today are not the originals, due to their natural tendency to decompose. In 2007, the first arch was replaced, followed by the other three in 2009, 2011, and 2013. An original arch can be seen on North Cass Street at the Rustic Inn. When the first arch was completed in 1953, the Rotary Club had little idea they were building a cultural icon for the community. Today, the arches are a major draw to the center of town, a testament to the community support and ingenuity that Jackson was built on.